there and welcome to this video about Maryland Solar. We're going to be talking about Maryland Solar incentives, uh, solar panels, uh, solar costs, things like that. Uh, let's get right into it. Um, uh, I actually uh, took the, uh, you know, the information you know, that I pulled for this video uh, from my book, The Definitive Guide to Residential Solar in the U.S., where section two of the book is a complete breakdown of uh, solar in, uh, of, of uh, you know, solar incentives, tax rebates, uh, uh, SRECs, which are solar renewable energy credits, which we'll be talking about here for Maryland in a minute, um, and, and net metering policies and homeowner rights and all, all kinds of things broken down for all 50 U.S. states. So if you want to see something, a state other than Maryland, you know, you can visit the netzerohome.com forward slash book uh, and get a complete breakdown of all those 50 states. And then in section one is just a ton of really useful information about how not to get ripped off in the solar industry. Um, okay, so um, okay, so let's talk uh, Maryland solar panels and net, net metering policies. So uh, Maryland's statewide net metering policy is a great option for homeowners who are interested in reducing their energy bills with solar energy. So by selling excess solar energy back to the grid through what's known as net metering, right? Homeowners can earn credits that can be used to offset uh, future utility bills, right? And Maryland is, you know, is, 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 is a great state for solar because they've got some, a great net metering policy, you know, where you can, you know, at the end of, at the end of the year, you know, get a check for your, uh, uh, from, from your utility company, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, however much, it, however much it is, you know, a couple hundred dollars, um, credits for excess, uh, generation are carried over for 12 months and any remaining credits are compensated at the commodity energy supply rate which is usually around three cents per kilowatt hour. So if you have a 10 kilowatt system, right, and you're using 10,000 kilowatt hours of energy a year, right, then that means that at the end of that year, you'd, you'd basically get a, a check for about $300, okay, um, which, you know, which, which can, you know, seriously offset, uh, you know, the cost of, uh, of, uh, of, of solar, okay. So that's the net metering policies. Uh, let's talk uh, Maryland solar incentives, uh, specifically tax incentives. So solar systems in the state of Maryland are exempt from the state's sales tax and the value added to your home by the solar installation uh, will be exempt from property taxes. Now, I will say I'm not a CP, I'm not a licensed CPA, right? Quick disclaimer, I'm not, I'm not a tax professional. Consult your, your CPA or tax professional, um, uh, you know, and, and these, you know, things do change with time. Um, but, uh, uh, but for now, that's, 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 that's what it is. Um, and, uh, you know, definitely check with your CPA if you want confirmation, okay? Um, okay, so let's talk about um, uh, homeowner rights. So Maryland solar companies must disclose homeowner rights in their contracts, including the right to cancel the contract within three business days. Homeowners in Maryland have the right to file a complaint with the state if they feel like a solar company has violated their rights or engaged in fraudulent practices. Okay, so uh, next up, we're going to talk about Maryland solar incentives in the form of SRECs um, and rebates. So S an SREC is a solar renewable energy credit. Okay, this is different than net metering. Right, so the Solar Renewable Energy Credit or SREC Rec program is a particularly important incentive for Maryland homeowners. Maryland has a great SREC program um, as it allows them to earn credits for access electricity generated by their solar panels. So these credits can be, then be sold to utilities to help offset the cost of installation. And additionally, the the Amer uh, Maryland Energy Asso Association offers a one thousand dollar rebate per residential project to further incentivize the installation of solar panels, at least at the time of, you know, making this video. Okay, let's talk about choosing a Maryland solar company and installer. I recommend choosing an installer with a, a national installer with a local presence rather than like a mom and pop installer uh, for a couple different reasons. So our exclusive solar installer is a national company who's done over 130,000 solar installs across the U.S., and you know we we have a branch in Balt in the Baltimore area that serves you know the entire tiny state of Maryland, right? Um, I recommend installing solar panels with a company that has a production guarantee, which should not be confused with a manufacturer warranty. One of the biggest ways homeowners get a bad deal in solar is when their system starts underperforming five to ten years after 
the installation of their solar panel. So a production guarantee states the um, exact amount of electricity your system will produce every year for 25 years. A lot of companies claim to have a production guarantee, but as soon as you tell, you know, ask them where on the contract does it actually say how much, how uh, you know, the actual amount, you know, in annual kilowatt hours of electricity my system will produce, that's when they stop returning your phone calls, right? And they go to, off to find a less knowledgeable, less informed solar prospect, right? So make sure you have a true production guarantee, which is where the actual annual amount of, of energy production or electricity production um, is on the contract, um, uh, you know, similar to, to, what, to what we have, right? So for more information, about residential solar and to get a copy of the all new definitive guide to residential solar in the US, visit our website, which is the netzerohome.com forward slash book. There's gonna be a link in the description of this video where you can get that and other, uh, you know, other helpful resources, our website. We've got a ton of free content uh, about how to, you know, how to make the best decision, how to maximize your solar savings um, and avoid costly mistakes in the solar industry. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.